Today's video, I'm going to show you how to beat double Mabel coverage in Man 24. This is a 30 yard cloud paired with a five yard uh, curl flat. Now, there's some simple ways to do it. There's also a little bit more advanced ways to do it, which we're going to show you in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, we'll be looking at the play verticals today at a trip side in in the Packers playbook. You can get the full Packers ebook at the link down in the description below. We're going to be updating that ebook with a ton of new route combinations and uh, even a ton of new formations as well. So if you want to get access to all of my ebooks, make sure you're in the Patreon. It's only $10. Great way to support the channel. Uh, and you can sign up by hitting the link down in the description below. So what we're going to be talking about today is attacking the double Mabel defense or the double Mabel coverage uh, with a very simple route combination out of verticals. What we're going to do is we're going to zig the middle trips receiver. We are going to put the outside trips receiver on a smart routed in route. We're going to streak our tight end. And then with the running back, we can either leave him on this little hitch. We can put him on a ghost if you have a hot route master or running back apprentice. Put him on a table route. Put him on an out. Put him on a block and release. You can basically put him on whatever you want. Okay, oftentimes I will just block this running back uh, or put him on a five yard out. Now, uh, the reason we put this five yard out route here is if they don't have hard flats on the field or they don't have an underneath flat defender, we're going to be able to take advantage of that on both sides of the field. This traditional double Mabel uh, coverage concept is basically this right here. And then they're going to use her over the middle. And what a lot of times people are trying to do with these 30 yard cloud flats is they're basically trying to get that cloud flat to play a deep corner route or a deep crosser. The beauty of the play verticals is the crossing route in this play is actually going to get over the top of 30 yard cloud flat. So it's going to consistently uh, get at a deeper depth that they can actually zone drop, which is another thing that makes this a really, really good uh, little play. Even if they back these guys off, I'll show it to you here. But even if they back these guys off, as long as they don't blitz us, which I don't know of a blitz right now in Madden 24 that's going to kill us pressure-wise. But what you'll see here is this crosser can just absolutely get into a soft spot against uh, a mainstream coverage uh, within the cover, the cover three Mabel. Now, another cool part about this is if you put your running back on a ghost route, you can actually playmaker him late in the play. And we're going to kind of build up the reality that they're going to have to use her they're going to have to go with that um, that crossing route. So because they have to go with the crossing route, then we're able to uh, look backside to our dig coming over the middle of the field. And then the reason I like a ghost route, or you could even honestly leave him on his little block and release curl, is because if they really break their coverage down, uh, then what we're going to be able to do is essentially we're going to be able to um, – Let's say they give you a coverage like this and they really leave the middle of the field open. Maybe they try to get back down on the in route or or whatever. Then what we're going to be able to do with this is we can actually playmaker. Whoops, I got out of the wrong play here. One second. Um, we're going to be able to playmaker the running back. So you'll see here the play will run through. OK, we're going to flick the right joystick to the left. And now the running back is going to be almost like a little delay shallow cross coming back over the middle that's going to kind of give them some trouble. Now, you might say, well, that's really good against cover two Mabel, but what about some of the other coverages in this game? Um, let's talk about cover four and cover three, really kind of in the same light here. Because we're running this with our trips to the wide side of the field, this crosser, actually cover four is low key, the best coverage in the game. Um, because we're running this with our trips to the wide side of the field, that means that our tight end is gonna to be to the short side of the field. So if they were to run cover four, or they were to run something like that, basically we're going to be able to throw this crosser kind of right in here and you want to cut it off before it gets to that outside third uh, defender. And the same thing is going to be true of uh, cover three. So let's see here. Tight end gets the clear out on the streak and then you can throw this right underneath him just like that. Very good play. They're going to have to use her that. If they do use her that, even if they're in a um cover four where they have another yellow zone this is again why i prefer the ghost route of this button curl because if they're truly dropping everybody back you can playmaker that running back late in the play and it kind of gets into a real soft spot but really the main read is going to be your backside in route now how does this play fair uh you might ask how does this play fair against man to man so let me throw some man coverage out on the field and we'll talk about why this play is a very good man beater. 
pretty much every route on the field with the exception of the running back and the tight end. And you can put the running back on an out route can beat man coverage. So this zig on the left is really our main read against man coverage um, early on in the play. So we always want to at least peek that over there on the left and see if we can attack them with that zig. The next route that we look for is a potential like running back out route or, or running back flat route against man coverage. Really good running back flat routes like table routes are very effective against any kind of cover zero blitz because that means that in a cover zero blitz situation, the safety is who's going to basically be using this guy and he's all the way across the field. So we can just sneak it out to the flat quick and take advantage of, you know, basically their alignment defensively. And then you also have your smart routed in and you have your crosser. This crosser from verticals is truly probably the best, one of the best man beating routes in the game, if not the best. It is very effective at being able to consistently um, attack man to man coverage, really regardless of what they do. So they're going to have to have some, some help over there and maybe drop a, a flat or whatever. They're going to have to have some uh, some protection on that sideline. So then what that does is it leaves the smart routed in route wide open as a nice little backside check down for you. Guys, the Packers playbook is loaded. Trips tied in is incredible this year. If you guys want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, we actually just dropped an update to it. You can join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. It'll get you access to all of my ebooks. And we're going to be dropping a full Packers ebook um, in the next week or so. So make sure you're in there. I think it will really help you become a better Madden player. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the Patreon. Link's going to be down in the description below.